Mixcraft's video effects are really easy to use. If you've used Mixcraft's lane-based automation for mixing your audio effects, you'll already know how to use them. To apply a video effect, click on the Toggle Automation button right here, and an automation lane will open up just like the ones used for audio effects. But the difference is right here you'll see a little pop menu, and if you click on it, you can see all the available video effects. So I'm going to start with something pretty obvious, like this low-pass posterized filter. And you can see right now it's doing nothing if I play back. But if I move over here onto the line, you can see that the pointer turns into a plus sign. And if I start clicking on the line, I can make automation nodes. Now keep in mind, like any other automation, these are going to snap to whatever the grid setting is, so you might want to turn snap to grid off. And now I can move these wherever I like. And now when I hit play, the effect is going to gradually come in. Now we can see I'm overtaxing my CPU a little bit, so it's a little jumpy. But if I render the video, the effects will be smoother. And of course we can gradually or abruptly turn the effect on and off by making more automation points. If you want to add an additional effect, you can just click here on the plus button, and another effect automation lane is added. So we can choose another effect. Let's choose Kaleidoscope. And we can crank this up. And now there's two of me. If you decide you don't like an effect and want to get rid of it, right click and press clear. And I'm going to do it for both of these lanes. So now we have our regular video back again. And if you want to get rid of one of the automation lanes, just hit X.